My name is Keith Peck. I'm Connie Dibbins. My name is Jeffrey Rickett. I'm Shane Moore. My name is Heather Woodfin. <laughs> we are Matt and Trish Dibbins. Jim and Liz Kavanagh. I'm Patty Dieterding. And I'm Chris Dieterding. Hi, my name is Phil Dalby. This is my wife, Kathy. Jason Erickson. This is my wife, Megan Erickson. Well, in 1987, uh, the Annapolis EP Church uh, session uh, was looking at various areas, about a dozen different areas, uh, for planting a church and got a number of us together. And uh, there were a couple of us from Annapolis EP and a couple from uh, Severna Park EP that were interested in Broadneck. We started off, Keith was our first small group leader for years and yeah. kind of... He, he taught, he did small groups in our home for years, which we yeah. were pretty blessed to have him spend that much time with us. Yeah. God keeps us at BEP to keep growing in areas that uh, we might be weak in, which is kind of interesting. We, we love the fact that the Lord has brought between 100 and 180 kids to wildlife. We barely have enough leaders to contain them, but the Lord knows that. The people here have definitely affected, affected who I am and who I've become and who I want to be in the future. We, had, we just have so many great families here, great people here. There was the realization that people were, that people really did care for one another. That what was growing was a family. And it was a family of folks who had a genuine concern for this community. So what was uh, raising the funds like? Miraculous. <laughs> they told us that we could probably raise about $500,000. Uh, they set three financial goals. The third one was what they called the miracle goal. So it didn't sound like a whole lot, but we moved forward. The pledges were counted and we stood around as a church family and announced it. The day came when the capital campaign was all over. And it was like, it was like everyone had to take a deep breath when we realized that we had exceeded the miracle goal, that God had exceeded the miracle goal. It's like, ah, what happened? <laughs> and when we opened it up, it was, it was about $750,000. Yeah, it was close to a million dollars. And we were just astounded at, at, at God's goodness. And from that point on, there was this sense, okay, God's, God's in this. We've all been a part of this church and feel like it's our home. That was just a joy to kind of just uh, to serve alongside so many people and to get to know so many people. Um, we prayed around the dining room table uh, many times for uh, faceless, at that time, faceless people that would become a part of this church. And it's been so exciting to, to see those faces. I think we need to somehow tell the story of BEP for the sake of our future leaders. That they, they understand where we came from and how we got here. It's the church on the Adele Drive with the green roof and everybody goes, oh, I know where that is. And that, I think, is sort of the culmination of the whole building process is having an identity in the community where people can go.